Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fade out your songs or beats in FL Studio 20. So stay tuned. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, go ahead, subscribe, check out the rest of the content on the channel. I'm sure you'll love it. Now, before we get into the video, I've got a quick question of the day for you. And that question is, what type of beats are you most interested in learning how to make? Let me know in the comment section down below. This will really help out in terms of, you know, what I focus on making videos on in the future. So definitely let me know. And it'll be really interesting to see what kind of beats you, you want to make as well. So let's get into it. I don't want to waste your time. I want to show you how to do this really, really quickly. This is a beat that I cooked up a little bit earlier <laughs> um let me just finish off the structure of this add um you know something to fade out into generally i'll fade out after a the last chorus i'll just have you know the main melody playing and then i'll fade out from there but as you can see this is like a normal beat you know melodies drums and if we go here i'll quickly play this as you can hear, it's not fading out. This is not what we want. We want it to be fading. So how do we do this? Now, in order to do this, we need to bring up the mixer. If you don't already have your mixer up, you can press this button over here, which will bring up your mixer. And then you need to go to the master track and you need to go to the volume up here. And when you get here, you want to right click and then go to create automation clip and now what this does is it will create an automation clip for your volume as it says but this is the volume of the whole track now i'll bring this down because i do have a, a specific space where this will go in my um fl studio templates which you can get there will be a link in the description if you want to get that it'll make you know mixing and mastering way easier for you so if you want to grab that grab it um but now we have uh, automation clip for our beat. So now we can at any point in this change the volume of the beat, but we just want to fade it out. We, we don't want to change a bunch of volumes, you know, throughout the beat and whatnot, which you can, but that's not what we're trying to do here. And in order to do this, we just want to right click, which will create another node, I think it's called, or point on the automation clip. But the thing is, this is a big, big tip. You want this to be the same volume as the rest of the track. And now the volume in FL Studio, I think the default volume is at 80%. And the way you can see this is if you look at the top left-hand corner of the project under you know, the project name and stuff, it will tell you 80% if you look on the right. I, I can show you. It was over here, but I can't show you with the mouse and have the mouse down here. So you kind of just got to listen to me top right. You'll see it say 80%. So you want this to say 80% as well. And now this, this says 79. So we just want to move it up a little bit. And then there we are, we're at 80. And now we've got the end point over here and we can just bring that right down there. And that will fade out the beat. And now we can, change the way the fade happens we can make it either quicker or slower by moving the curve down this will make the fade really really quick moving the curve up that will make the fade slower or it will just you know super fade at the end but we really just want a consistent fade like this that's probably the best thing you can also do this at the beginning of your track to have things fade in if that's something that you want i'll show you quickly how to do that it's the exact same thing as you can see i luckily hit this at 80 percent that usually probably won't happen for you but actually let's bring this in a little bit more but as you can see what that has done is it has moved the rest of this and we don't actually want that so what we can do is we can move this and then move this back out and do all that uh bring that to 80 again 80 there we go and we will just bring that you know a little bit lower and we'll have it like that. So this is the fade in. 
and we could have this you know at zero and that's the fade in and this is the fade out really really easy really really simple that is basically how it's done that's how you fade out your beats or songs in fl studio 20 hope this video has helped you out but because you've watched through to the end i do have a very special free gift for you i've got 10 free loops that you can download right now and use in your beats totally royalty free you can sell these beats all that sort of stuff all you need to do is click on the link in the description or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free loops now let's quickly recap before we end the video let's recap the steps uh first you need to click on the mixer so this button up here go to the mix or you can go to view and then click on mixer or use f9 i guess <laughs> and basically you want to click on the volume let's actually go in the middle of the track because this is where the volume is going to be stable you want to click on the volume right click go to create automation clip when that happens you'll see this big automation clip and then you right click to create new nodes or points in the beat Let, let's actually get rid of these points because <laughs> that's not going to be good at all do do all right so you right click to create points in the beat so you create a point for it to start at for this the start of the fade to begin and then you will have a point basically you have a point at the beginning and the end of this automation clip anyway so you don't need to create another point for that but then you just bring the end point down and there you go bob's your uncle and you can use this part in the middle oh is fl studio trying to crash on me don't crash on me fl studio chill out ah this geoforce thing that's so annoying I'd even press any buttons for it to come up anyways. And this thing in the middle, you can basically move down or move up to change the fade, like how quick or how slow you want it to fade out. So that's the video. If you have any questions or any other videos you want me to make, please leave those in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer your questions or make videos that will help you out. So definitely do that. I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online marketing and online business. Peace out.